Hi everyone, this is Ben Guler with Evolve Lab, bringing you another Way Faster Wednesday. Today, we're going to go over this project that has different dimension styles, and what we'd like to do is to consolidate them. The dimension strings here at the bottom use this Comic Sans style, and these dimension strings use this Arial style. We're going to go ahead and use Dynamo to automate the process of changing the Comic Sans style dimension strings to the linear 330 seconds Arial style. I went ahead and ran this graph already, but froze this last component so that we can look at the anatomy of it. Um, the first part here takes in all the element, um, the dimension elements, and then it grabs the types of those elements. And what we really need is the name of those types. So we could see here these, uh, there are three Comic Sans type uh, elements and then two aerial types from this original list. Then we compare this list this list of strings actually, with the input, which is also a string, and we get this true and false statement list, which we could use with this filter by bool mask node to get just the dimension elements that have that Comic Sans um, style. That's that first part. The second part is we need to get the new dimension type to be used. So I'm gonna query all the element types that are dimension type, so we can see them all here. There's a lot of different dimension types. Then get the name of those types. So I can see there's um, quite a few here. And like we did before, compare these list of strings with our input here, which is the linear 330 seconds, to get the one um, type that we need, this dimension type. And since this output is a list, what we really need is just the element itself. So it's not a list output. So I'm getting the first, I'm using this code block to get the first item in the list. And now we have our uh, elements that need to be replaced for their uh, dimension type. And we have the type that it's going to be set to. Now we could use this uh, node here, the element set parameter by name. We have all our elements, which are the uh, dimension strings and the, uh, the new type. Now if we run it, there you go. It changed all these dimension strings to the new type that we specified. I hope this is useful for your workflows and thank you for watching.